Hi, so welcome back. Today we're moving on with the series of uh, dual propeller ships and uh, further looking into parallel movement with a ship. So for this exercise, uh, as you probably can see now, I will use this ship to memo what we're doing today. Um, this is just a rough picture of what we're doing. So we're gonna have a starting position uh, with this blue vessel here. And we're gonna slowly make our way um, uh, to our berth, where we then are gonna stop the engines and make sure that we will clear both aft and forward and then be able to parallel movement ourselves into our berth. And this will be useful if you have uh, a vessel forward of you and off of, aft of you, so you have a restriction in uh, how far you can go forward and uh, backward. So this uh, parallel movement will make it uh, hopefully very easy. So uh, that's the illustration and I will come back to you when we're in the simulator. So here we are in the simulator and now we're gonna attempt to uh, do what I previously illustrated. So we're going to dock off of the Pride of Rotterdam here, where my mouse is. Uh, I will speed up this first project, uh, first part when I'm just getting up to speed and moving myself into a decent position. And I will start with the commentary when we are uh, close enough. So just hang tight. <laughs> Alright, so now, now I have set up my approach here and we're slowly coming in and nearing our berthing position. Uh, I'm keeping the speed at about 2.7 knots right now uh, since I don't want to rush it. I want to take it slow. And we're already gonna start to slow down. So we're not doing that too late. And we're gonna use the same uh, principle with the parallel movement part uh, that we're gonna um, use the port engine to have in forward for our rudder adjustment and our starboard engine in uh, reverse. And uh, try to keep that uh, speed at a minimum. minimum. And then just use our rudder and about thruster to move ourselves into our position. And we're gonna use two stern lines, uh, one spring, aft spring, and then forward spring and a heading line. Um, yeah. So we're slowly getting down to speed. We can start to put the engines in neutral and just glide into position. Uh, we have a very good ecti, so it's very accurate. accurate. Uh, so we can actually see our position compared to the dock, which will be very useful now when there's a very tight space to move in. Uh, in real life, you would have um, uh, the crew stationary at the uh, forecastle and uh, the poop deck to give you the uh, the measurements and the distances between um, the positions but now we're just gonna be able to use our ectis that's fine so 
so now we're gonna come to a complete stop here if we can do that in anytime soon so now we will get some reverse speed tiny bit and we will just counter that So now I'm in a pretty good place, I think. I think that my uh, parallel movement will be all right. Since we're laying here, I can probably go down here also and uh, get a visual. I wouldn't do that, but I would have my crew to tell me this. So it looks like we're gonna make it on the forward part. Probably a tiny bit astern we need to come. But then let's start the maneuver. So the rudders are centered, no rudder at the moment. And we're gonna use the same principle as earlier. We will put a uh, four in reverse and then three in forward. The throttles aren't happy. They're moving around very much now, but ah, should not be a problem. Now we're making off. Oh, well, it seems like I have to calibrate these controls again sometime soon. It's giving me a bit of a headache right now. Uh, but there we go. We can probably start our parallel movement now. So we will try that. And as um, in the first video, we will use our port rudder and our bow thruster to just get into our berthing space. So to get the aft end to port, we will use starboard rudder and we'll probably put it at full starboard rudder. So we'll do that right now. Drop a little bit on the forward speed. Uh -huh. And also use our bow thruster to begin the parallel movement. And I think I will actually put this at 80 RPM or something close to that. Maybe not gonna be enough. Uh, now we're drifting a little bit too far forward, so we will have to um, do something about that. We'll have to reverse a bit. So I do have to touch my throttles right now. And you want to do as little as possible. So there's uh, as few things as possible that can go wrong. But right now I have throttles to worry about, the brow bow thruster and my rudder. So it's three things. One too many maybe, but it should still be all right. I think we're gonna clear forward still. Now we're picking up off speed, so I will have to counter that. Time for a kick on the stern again.
So slowly but surely I'm just repeating the process of I'm, I'm keeping my rudder hard to starboard and using my bow thruster to uh, keep it somewhat parallel and it's looking all right the speed forward is now zero knots and uh, so we're stationary in this position almost we will just have to make sure that we are not coming too fast into the position so if i look forward now we can see that we cleared Break this momentum just a little bit. So slowly but surely we're getting into position. Going a little bit too fast on the bow, so we're slowed up down. And I'm getting ready to do some port rudder on my aft end to uh, keep it from slamming the dock. And I'll put some a little bit port there. Then my bow will come in swinging. Now we're making forward speed again, we don't want that, so I'll put some more reverse. Bow is coming in nicely. The stern is almost in. I'm just letting the momentum do everything. So just a tiny bit more on the aft end. I hope this dock is all right, so we will be able to get in all the way. Then we're again, so I'll neutralize and everything, put my engines in neutral. And then uh, more the ship. So we said of heading line, spring, that should be off spring, but bollard is a bit wrong. And that's basically it. So it's not uh, much room to play with. So you have to keep the speed uh, at the minimum. minimum. <coughs> and that's about it for this video. I hope you liked and hope you um, learned something from this. And I will get back to you later with uh, episode 3 of this series. Where we will, be able, where we will attempt to reverse into a berth and then uh, more that way so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video